Hey everyone, so welcome back to my another video. Today we're gonna try out Try Hack Me Challenge, which is the Love Cat. So today I'm gonna try it out. So let's take this IP first. Let's try and check and see what are the port number. And map SS. Let's try and see what port number. Hmm, this is gonna take a while. Okay, so we saw that they got an SSH port and HTTP port. So, for HTTP port, let's try to browse the website first. Okay, so we saw .cat, chance see the fish sauce. Hmm, so we click the dog. It shows the dog picture. We click again. It shows the same one. Nothing changed, right? So, let's try out another one, the cat. Okay, a cat. A... Hmm, it changed another ch picture. So, something's weird. So, let's try out using Burp sudo inside the packet. Okay, we send it to the repeater. Let's try and see. I think that this one got LFI vulnerability. So, let's try and see. Is there anything else about LFI? Okay, I need dog and cat. Let's try and see if we put a cat over here. Oh, we saw something special over here. Warning include. So this one is vulnerable to include. So this, as we can see over here, we put cat on it. It append.php over here. So if we put turtle, it shows that only dog or cat are allowed. So now my let's try and see to use FFUF first to directory uh, to chance is there any directory else behind there or not. Okay, so go to script FFUF UF U HTTP which is the website and then W this one we're gonna use the common word list. So let's try and see. Here, you did I miss something else or not? Oh, yeah, I forgot to put FUSS. Is that it? okay? So, over here we saw there's two directory which is the cats directory and dogs directory, but it shows 301. This is forbidden for us to view it. Close the intercept first, Let's try to put dogs, yeah. We are not allowed to enter them, so now my let's try and see is, is there any PHP script or not? Okay, we got a flag over here. I think that's the first first flag over here. We got a cat, we got a dog, a cat and dog. Let's try and see first. Cat.php. Okay, it shows a picture. We refresh. It shows another picture. So this one, yes, we click over here. It shows another picture. So that's a function of it. So now my, let's try and see to abuse the LFI first. So here, try and see can we access the HTC, HTC pass WD or not? HTC pass WD. Okay, we can't because it only allowed cat, right? But we saw over here, there's a dogs and cats folder, right? So why not we just enter the directory one first? Then we get it out from there. So we enter there first. Then we get out again to go to etc password transit. It's not working. Oh, because of this one PHP. So now my we try and see if there any else we can abuse it. Up. So we try to get a flag first. Oh. Hmm. Try to get a flag, see if we can get a flag or not. Flag.php. Okay. This one we can't get because that's a PHP. Remove this one. So here we go. We can't sort a flag, right? So this one we need to use PHP filter. So we search PHP filter for FFI. PHP filter, PHP filter, PHP 
filter. Yeah, we found it. The wrapper. So PHP filter. We're gonna use this one. Convert to base 64. Okay, copy this one. Then we paste, we paste it over here. Okay, so try and see if we can get the index first now. Okay, we can't. Never mind. We go into the cat first. Cats. Then we get out and then we go to index. Okay, bingo. So uh, base 64 here. So we try to decode it. Then base 64 decode. Okay, so see. We got the index already. So we try to understand the code first. So over here, when we click a dog, right? You're gonna use this set, this function. So, oh okay, yeah, I think we can abuse this one. The ext, because ext this one will change into a PHP, right? So if we change the ext, you're gonna change into another extension. So let's try and see, is it working or not? Put a uh, Anderson txt equal to nothing and we put dot php. Oh, it works. So right now, let's go to flag dot php and voila, we got our flag. But this one, if you guys want the flag, you guys can decode it. Now, mind we go we try to check and see if we can. Access to the etc password now. etc passwd. We go. Okay. We can go. We can access there. So we try to decode it. Clear it up. I go. The sixty-four decode. So, okay. Voila. We got it. So. We can successfully view the remote host, the etc password. So right now, let's try to change see if we can access the Apache log or not. Because this server is running Apache, so let's try and see if we can access the log or not. Because we want to get the reverse shell. So cats dot 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 back back. So we are lock Apache two. We access. We go to access dot lock. Try and see if you can access it now. But for this case, I try and see I remove this one. See, it can work now the PHP filter. And it works. Nice man. So over here, we saw that when we send the packet, right? This is our packet. Then ST. Over here, it got. Our user agent, which is this part, we can inject our PHP code over here. So let's try to change into our PHP code. PHP system, and then this one, that, CMD. Okay, so over here, let's try to put the sun. I cmd equal to id. Let's try and see if we can get the id or not. And did we get our id? Hmm. I think we still haven't got it yet. Let's try and check and see why. And the sun cmd equal id. Get cmd php system. Okay, get CMD. Hmm, let's try and see if that is a work or not. Check again. See, voila, we got our ID over here. UID, WW data. So, you can try to use this part to get our river shell. So, we clear it up first. We just we call our dissonance for everything. Okay, like zero. Okay, so over here, I can see what's my IP first. This is my IP. So in this case, I'm going to use the PHP command reverse shell. So we're going to use this one. Then 
paste it into the decoder this one we change with our IP 0.9.23.162 and our listening port on 8890 okay for this case we're going to encode it to URL URL because our repeater we place we replace this one with this one okay let's try and see go see if we can guide it see how it hmm so connection refuse oh we forgot to execute it come on we try it out again and voila we got our first river shell so let's try and see first so there's a flag and now my we can see send another flag and that's the flag too so we try and try and see do we have any pseudo privilege for this user or not and we have one which is a user bin EM, EVNV so in this case let's try and, try and see the get the fuck off bin uh, ENV try to abuse the sudo so we just execute this one we can get the root user so sudo env in sh id and voila we got our root user so we cd to root yes. okay. okay we got a flag tree so we try to enumerate again we just want to get the flag for right so LA. we try and go to opt okay we saw the backup over here LA and we saw something special here okay. today current time is 12.46 and the backup dot time is the same the time so try to see the backup dot hashtage the script and we saw that it compress the file from root container and store into root container backup dot backup dot bar. So that's the current place right it's all and we try and see our root over here. But in our root we don't have the con the container folder. So in my theory I assume that actually this script right it will run every single minute. So I as in my theory I assume that actually this root container is in another machine so from there they escape the script right to backup this this whole container and save into backup.par so you can see the date again then we're going to check the time okay now it's 48 right then you can see that's my theory for right now and see this one it changed every single minute it will execute the script to back up it. So right now we try to replace in the script, the code inside the script with our uh, reverse shell code. So in this case, I'm going to use bash. Where's my bash? Bash, bash, bash. Bash. Yeah, this one. Other bash shell. So in this case, I'm going to use this one and I'm gonna replace this IP F config sudo. Okay, I'm gonna replace it with my IP 10.9.23.162. As for the port, I'm gonna keep it the same. We echo first one we need to include the shebang first, bin.bash and then move into backup.sh and then echo we put in to it with our reverse shell code and then append it into backup.sh okay over here we need to open our listener first we are meant to open the listener first to get our reverse shell 1337 okay, enter so now we wait for the time strike to 50 to get our reverse shell so what's the time 42 so our theory is it will execute the code every single minute, right? Let's check and see does it work or not. We check our uh, backup the SH script. Okay, so that's our shell script, right? So we wait for it to return the sh the shell. So and voila, we got a shell. ID 
Uh, and we are the root user. Host name is the same. It's dog cat. So I think that's the correct path already. And we got our flag for. So that's how I solve the challenge. So if you guys have any question, do leave in the comment section. I'll try to reply to you guys. Thanks for watching my channel. And see you again next time. Bye bye.